領域展開。無料空所。Why'd you pass on us? Well, for starters, you don't look like you're on a date. More like at a funeral. Well, I don't think that's true at all. Just have fun while you can, huh? See ya. Now then, where shall we go to next? Before that, talk to me. What's going on with this place? With you? And please don't play dumb. All right. I'll tell you when we get to our spot, okay? Where's that? You really have to ask? It's one of my most favorite places. Can I make it any more obvious? <laughs> Interesting. I thought Zach chose to go to the laboratory, the Hojo, and I guess he changed his mind at the end. What the? Cloud. Biggs. Or Aerith. <sighs> How the hell am I supposed to choose? <sighs> Sephiroth! Hey! <sighs> you want a piece of me? No, not you. It's all you, wasn't it, Sephiroth? Well, it isn't over yet. This is it, right? Our spot? Bingo. That was easy. I told you it was obvious. Well, you'll have to give me a harder one next time. Oh? Next time? I mean, why not? Yeah. Why not? At least I know now, where you and I stand, I mean. Thing is, Cloud, I really like you. But then, like can mean a lot of different things, can't it? Because there's liking, and then there's... liking. Seriously, what's going on? You've been weird all day. I'm sorry. Whatever happens, don't blame yourself.
thank you. Sorry. I'll be okay. Here. Take it. But your mom gave that to you. This isn't about me, though. It's about saving the world. And you. So thank you, Cloud, for everything. What is this? of reality. When the boundaries of fate are breached, new worlds are born. It encompasses a multitude of worlds, ever unfolding. Some quickly perish, while others. Yet even the most resilient worlds are doomed to fade. Nevertheless, their loss is not to be mourned, for it is not death, but a homecoming that awaits them. In the planet's embrace, all life is as one. All born are to her. Should this world be unmade, so too shall her children. He'd tell you that he only cares about the planet. That he'd do everything in his power to protect and preserve it. But this isn't the way it's supposed to be.
I give you my blessing. Whispers? Bro, I am so confused right now. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Is that all you got? Come on now. Air disappearing. Zach's kind of disappearing as well. What's going on right now? My conclusion is that the, the, a new, the new timeline and the old one are now merging into one, creating a whole nother timeline entirely. But that's just a guess right now. That's just a guess for me. Which way am I supposed to go? Hmm. And I guess Cloud's kind of caught up in this bridge between two worlds. Well, we meet again. You're okay. Sephiroth's here. I can feel it watching us. Yeah. But forget about him for now. Just focus on yourself, okay? But I'm fine. Focus on you, Cloud. The one I've been trying to find. The real you. Huh? Leave Sephiroth to me. I can handle him. He's planning to use the Black Materia. But I won't let that happen. He has to be stopped by a Cetra. And I'm the last. Thanks for returning it to me, Cloud. I appreciate it. But now, it belongs with you.
Ha! Cloud! Please tell me you're okay. I'm fine. Didn't know if it was Marco poisoning or the degradation, but I thought you were done for. Sorry to disappoint. Well, you can thank me for the ride later. Gotta find Aerith first. She told us that an ancient city lies just beyond these woods, and that the Cetra built a very special altar there. That's where she's headed, I'm sure of it. Problem is, Sephiroth stole the Black Materia. Meaning he could destroy the entire planet any minute. And Aerith said she's the only one who can stop him. Where is this place? No one knows but her. We got separated in the fog, and... She's out there, all alone. Then we'd better hurry. That way. And how can you be so sure? Sometimes you just know. Hmm. So, okay. I heard something from Aerith. She said Sephiroth kicked the ever living crap out of you back in the Temple of the Ancients. You heard wrong. Didn't go down like that. Okay. Then how exactly did he get the materia from you? Uh. You don't always have to play the badass, you know. All right, fine. You win. He beat the shit out of me and took the materia. It's my fault. It's kind of mine, too. I should have been there for you, but I wasn't. Well, uh, at least you're growing, Cloud. <laughs> you admitted it. Some dream you had, judging by the way your eyes were twitching. Don't know if I'd call it a dream. Either way, something happened to you, didn't it? Yeah. I got sent to another world. Apparently, there's at least a few more than one. <sighs> Is that right? I'd explain, but I don't think I can. It's all right. Doubt I'd want to hear it anyway. Yeah, basically. Is it just me, or is there something weird about this mess? You're not the only one. Do you see them in it too? In the whispers? Yeah. I'm afraid to say it, but if the whispers control fate, then does that mean we were destined to be separated from Aerith? Maybe. Why'd I have to open my mouth? I mean, you're not wrong though. Technically, how this is supposed to head deep into the fog, though. So. Hey, Cloud, promise me if you start feeling sick or thinking weird thoughts, you'll let us know, okay? Thoughts like, for example, stuff like thinking I'm not the real me. Sorry. You don't have to apologize, but I do want you to talk to me or someone at least. All right, I can do that. Yeah, boy, Cloud. This is so basically, there's multiple timelines. Hey. All right, so let's break this down real fast. Basically, there's multiple timelines, and from what I'm understanding right now, in that one timeline. Zach chose to go to the Sharon building and help Hojo. Another one, he chose to go to Biggs instead, which is what we saw. And then Biggs ended up dying, and that's how that all went down. And then we saw that, I guess, in a way, Aerith was trying to save Cloud because he was basically succumbing to the influence of Sifthroff and also the Michael Poison wasn't doing him any favors. And then I guess doing all that, those dreams he was having, or yeah, I guess chopping up the dreams was happening it was kind of helping him regain him his, his sense of self i guess you could say and then here we are made it bad and Aerith is going to basically sacrifice herself which technically now that i think about it isn't that how well i do i do know some of the original story like like i said i told you guys i never played the original game i played crisis core the reunion but i never played like the um the original final fantasy 7 but I am aware of like parts of the story because one after I beat I know Christ Core Union not part of this part of the remake storyline, but I, I beat that I was curious about a lot of things. So you know I got to looking up you know for me just got looking up because I didn't I could have just played it, but then I was like you know I'm just gonna wait for the 
sequel to come out because that's already been announced and everything. So, and then bro, I got looking, and that's when I discovered like, yeah, Everf doesn't make it apparently in the original game. So, I'm not too surprised that this is happening. But since this is the rebirth and things are supposed to be different, I mean, maybe the same things may happen. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know if they passed it though. Else, but not to you. So, I'm sorry for giving the keystone to Shinra. I truly am. I just thought that since it was so dangerous, I'd rather something happen to one of them than to one of you. No need to explain yourself. <laughs> You're a good man, Cloud. I don't deserve your forgiveness. Oh, I'm still pretty pissed. Just got bigger fish to fry. Right, that makes sense. Still, I'll do what I can to help, and we'll fry those fish together. Yeah, but like I was saying earlier, we know that Aerith is supposed to basically be the one to, uh, how she meant. she's the one that meets her in, so, I don't know. I guess we just have to wait and see, watch how this goes. I'm sorry if that's a spoiler for you guys, too, by the way. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have planned to play the original or not, but I'm sorry if that was a spoiler. But at this point in the game, if you be watching this far, then it's like, you, you gotta have some kind of general idea, like, to be honest with you. Alright, so let's see. Let's see if we can help save Aerith. The Grand Metropolis, where the ancients once gathered to pray, thought lost to time. Until today. This is it, right? You know, I think it is. Yeah, Grams told me all about it when I was growing up. He called it the Forgotten Capital. Said it was the heart of Cetran civilization. But I never thought I'd see it. And this place screams fancy altar. Aerith's gotta be here. Well then, let's go get our girl. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say those assholes are fixing to get in our way again. Look at them, though. Yeah. They're different. Don't belong to fate or the planet. They belong to Sephiroth. I'm waiting, Cloud. <sighs> Is all this? It's the end. It's upon us. The reunion. When worlds merge. When spite and sorrow are harvested. To feed the planet. Well, well. Looks like we're altar bound. And I thought the white ones were the good ones.
E... Dang, I can't even get my moves off. Let's go. This dude here, bro. This thing is strong too. Oh, let's say that area is strong. Not like they're simple. Alright. Planet Sanctuary. Don't worry, guys. I'll take care of it from here. You guys ain't gotta worry about things. What is this? Beyond the wall. Well, at least this is comfortable, you know? Nice little elevator ride down. Got a little time to think, why not? Oh, I, I can't even look at my watch guy though. Oh well. Now that I think about it, if I knew the story was gonna be this deep, then I honestly would have done all the side missions and did it like that, but it's all good. I would have definitely did a um, Genji thing then. It's all good, I can, I can hopefully come back after the game anyway and finish. What's all this? 
Aerith is praying that the altar of the hosts uh, putting a stop to Sephiroth's plan. There will be no chance to rest beyond this point. Make sure your party is prepared for whatever may come before you rest to our side. Ah. So you're telling me I need to really prepare, huh? Make all my preparations as needed up there. I didn't look at that, bro, because if I didn't look at that, I'd have been cooked. He got involved to the battle. He ain't had nothing but Gallahorn and quilts and everything else is just not available. All right, let's do this. I think we're reaching close to the end of the road, folks. I look forward to seeing what the future has said.
tears are empty. Just like It's okay. of worlds and emotions. Loss, chief among them. It engulfs fleeting moments of joy, transforming them into rage, sadness, hatred. Never have I felt them so. Just a puppet. This thing again? They already got their limits. Good shit, y'all. Oh, yeah. Let's do it like this. Nah, ain't done yet. They ain't giving up. They ain't giving up.
Hmm, looks like somebody's getting serious, huh? They see that. That's where they taught you to block that. I ain't done yet. Really, bro? Alright, I didn't want to use them now, but I suppose that, well, no, I do forget about that. Yeah, everybody's just... Everybody's just a whole pile of firepower out there now. Dean, no effect. There we go. Now we're talking. Ooh. 
There we go. Let's go. But we get knocked out by everything. You ain't finna give me with that. Come on, Barry, you gotta stay in the game, man. Gotta stay in the game. Got to. There we go. This thing will fall, bro. He hit me with everything, bro. There we go. Come on. All right, Yuffie. Man, no choice. There we go.
can this thing just fall already? Get Cloud back up. Oh, my son. oh, he can't use it? They go crazy. Somebody need to get up though. Pick up, bro, too. Hold on, I can't let him fall just like that. Okay? This thing going crazy now. It must be immune to stuff. Ooh. Trying to get the ultimate off. So yeah, that other one? Yeah. 